Hey guys, it is Romani to XD here. I know I haven't posted a while. I actually made a video on the Amazon Echo Dot, but then I was just like, Jesus, that's a bad video. Um, because I was filming on my iPad and I was editing on my iPad, so I knew it wouldn't be very good. So today I will be showing you how you can basically just avoid buying Philips Hue and everything. Um, and just do this. Alexa, turn desk on. And not small. So the basis of all of this is still with the RM Broadening Pro, which I made a video on if you want to check that out, and the app which I briefly mentioned, which is the Broadlin Broadlink RM plugin. Um, I'm just going to show you today how to do that really quickly. Now, as I um, showed in the previous video, you want to start in the Broadlink app. I've just gone to my so-called room, and we're going to add a I know, a colour. I'm going to go over and um, find an icon. I'm just going to use this and the name it blue. Once I've done that, I'm going to click out of it and I'm going to learn the signal. So we've got blue. Oh, once it's done that, it has saved successfully and it now on. When I click blue, it will go blue. That is blue, not purple, blue. But from there we then go and what we need to do to communicate with this other app, we need to share the data to that app. So when you're in the app you can go to Alexa Bridge, you need to make sure that's on and for my phone it actually blocks the data so I need to press keep screen on for Alexa Bridge. That actually is Anyway, once you go to Alexa device list and you put add a device. Now I'm going to call this blue desk. I'm going to select an on command. I'm going to go over to blue. There it is. You can see. Now if you want you can test selected the t you can test the selected code, but we already know that it works, so we're just going to press that. Now, once we've done that, we can just choose the off command and for me it's just a toggle of power on and off. After we've done that we now just leave this open and we just go over to the app. Now once we are at the app we just need to head over to Smart Home. This is quite a slow app I do know that. Remember how fast your Wi-Fi is. Uh, a few moments later and once we are at smart home we click on devices scroll to the bottom as you can see I've got all my devices we press discover now we have found the blue desk right at the top there note if this doesn't work on the first time just get rid of the tab on both devices and press the discover again now we find that, let me just change the colour to actually show you that it works. Now if we say the magic word, Alexa, turn blue desk on. Damn it feels good to be a gangster. Alexa, turn blue desk on. We have a blue, not purple, because purple looks like this. Alexa, turn purple desk on. Sorry, I didn't find Bub. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. Alexa, turn purple desk on. Okay. That is now a purple colour. So we have that. Now you can repeat this step with anything that I showed you in the old video. I actually have it connected to the Apple TV so I can do this. Alexa, turn Apple TV on. And it goes on. Or I can say, Alexa, turn Apple TV off. And it turns it off. I've also got it so I can say, Alexa, turn desk light on. I've practically used this across my bedroom so I can say Alexa, 
turn music room on. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and it was helpful. Uh, all of this um, cost me £85, all the LED strips, all the plugs, everything, and I worked it out if you had got it elsewhere or got the original stuff, it would have cost over £600, to be exact £608. So uh, if you want to do it my way, super cheap, probably the cheapest smart home you can do. And if you want to see more uh, Amazon Echo Dot videos, uh, feel free to leave a comment, a like, or whatever. So thank you guys for watching. Peace.